I wanted to bring you a review on the Clearagen system, and this was actually requested ever since my skincare routine video. Um, I am going to show you my skin a little bit today since I'm not wearing makeup, um, but really this is something that I've been using. It was kind of a three-step that I have been using in my skincare routine, and people asked for a review. Um, it's in Sephora, so I think it's available internationally since I believe Sephora is international. Um, but I just wanted to tell you and kind of show you a little bit about what it's done for my skin. And currently I am having a really bad breakout here. It's a cyst. Um, and it's kind of like ice picked over here and then there's like one on my neck. I don't know if that's a cyst or if that's just annoying. But it's so much fun. And because it's summer and I've been sweating, I've been breaking out like crazy on my back, which is no bueno. And I do use different things on my back than I do my face. But this is what I've been using on my face and I am pretty, I'm very pleased with my forehead area. Down here I'm a little bit irritated, um, even in my chin, but really I've just been um, very pleased. And I think that my skincare routine has really been helping with that. So I will link you to my skincare routine video if you are interested in seeing what I have been using currently. And tell me if you want a video on back acne because we can also do a back acne video or bikini breakouts or body breakouts or back to school breakouts or anything like that. But um, recently I have been using the Clearagen system and I do have the travel size as well for when I travel. And when I started out I was using the Clearagen cleanser and the toner and the moisturizer with the benzoyl peroxide. And the benzoyl peroxide did end up really drying me out and then I couldn't use it every day and it was kind of throwing a loop in things. And I actually had to mix it with another um, uh, Neutrogena oil free moisturizer to kind of calm things down. Recently I have switched to the sulfur acne uh, moisturizer and I like this a lot better than I do the benzoyl peroxide. And it hasn't been as drying for me. Sulfur is very, very, um, I don't know, it's very soothing to the skin and it does help me a lot, I think, more than benzoyl. So I've just been using this as a spot treatment. But um, the Claritin system is a three step system, kind of like many other acne routines. Um, you have a foaming cleanser, which is just your kind of for the par foaming cleanser. And what this contains in it is salicylic acid. And what's also great about this moisturizer, and what's also great about this cleanser is that it is more of a milky cleanser, so it's not just one of those wash on, um, you know, it's just like water. It has witch hazel, it has aloe, I believe it has rosemary, it has a whole bunch of botanical herbs and stuff, and that's something that they pride themselves on. Um, but the biggest thing with this is that it does contain witch hazel, which is antibacterial, and it does contain salicylic acid, which helps to break down the acne in the skin. Step two, which I've also shown you, is the clarifying toner. This is kind of like any other toner. You drop it onto your face or onto a cotton ball, and you kind of let it um, soak into your skin. This, in addition, also has salicylic acid in it. The very third one actually has a little cap that goes over it. I don't know what happened to it. I lost it. This is my Sulfur Acne Moisturizer, and it comes out a little bit like this. This does take a little while to soak into my skin, um, not terribly long, and it's very, very moisturizing. So as you can see, it might take a minute or two to soak in while I have like cleanser and stuff on there too. Um, but it is very, very moisturizing, and unlike a Sulfur Mask or anything like that, it doesn't leave streaks. The Benzoil as well soaks in pretty quickly, and I'm not going to put any on my hand because if I get it on my clothing, it'll stain. That's another thing. I don't like benzoyl that stains. Um, but I will use this as a spot treatment because it will soak in, but not as well as the sulfur. But overall, the sulfur one is extremely hydrating. The benzoyl peroxide one is definitely more of like a spot treatment right now, make it work, but it might dry you out a little bit. So I am personally a big fan of the sulfur. Um, the sulfur is 3%. And this also contains lionic acid in it, um, which helps, again, to break down things. It contains soybean, uh, but there are a lot of botanical ingredients in here, and I don't know how many for sure. But the way this entire system is supposed to work, as opposed to other skincare systems, which is what I learned in Sephora, is that it actually inhibits testosterone in your skin. So whereas a lot of acne products just kind of go on, and they're like, okay, we're going to kill bacteria, or we're going to get rid of oil. Well, bloody humbug, if you remove the oil, your skin says we need more oil, let's build it back. And if you just kill the bacteria, you can always get more dirt and bacteria in your pores. What happens is that testosterone in your body is a hormone, as we know, that is attributed to acne. When you have estrogen and testosterone that are off balance, whether you're male or female, that can cause issues. But when you have testosterone in your bloodstream and in your skin, there is an enzyme in our skin that actually takes that testosterone and converts it into this little chemical called DHT. And DHT is is what produces oil. DHT floats around in your bloodstream and in your skin and when it connects to androgens, which as we know are another hormone in the body that is kind of related to insulin and you know functions, um, 
metabolic functions, biological functions, things like that in the pituitary gland, because the pituitary gland right here is what creates testosterone. But when the DHT connects and kind of partners up with the little androgens, it creates an overproduction of oil in the pores, and it actually clogs up the pores. And as we know, if you have oil, when you have bacteria that gets in that oil, it's like a breeding ground. It's like little mommy sack of oil has little baby bacteria in it. And when that happens under the skin, it creates this inflammation and this pus. And that's the difference between cystic acne and topical acne. Topical, you see it as a big whitehead. When it's cystic, it's much deeper in the tissue. And like this, it really just um, swells up and creates these like multiple things. And because it's so deep, it kind of travels down usually with gravity as an ice pick, as um, kind of a localized reaction or kind of like a all sorts of cystic stuff, which we will actually discuss in another video. But the way that the clear agent system works is because it has the botanical ingredients along with the salicylic and the witch hazel, it kills the bacteria on the surface, it goes in, it treats the oil, and it actually inhibits um, and stops the androgens from combining with the DHT because it helps to remove the DHT. So it helps to reduce the oil and then it stops those two little guys from combining so that your skin doesn't get inflamed underneath and if there's bacteria topically, this is what kills it and the bacteria can't get into your skin and cause issues. So because it is this time of the month, I am having a little bit of a breakout, but that is basically how the system works. Yeah, that is my experience with this. I hope that this has helped you if you had questions on it, because I know a lot of people did. Let me know if you want me to review anything else from my skincare routine, or if you want back acne routines and things like that. But I love you guys. I hope this helped, and I will listen to what your video ideas are in the comments below. Love you guys. Bye.